Android enrollment using Samsung Knox. The benefits are Enroll several devices at once. Efficient and time saving, out of the box enrollment method. Provides a suite of extra capabilities and features. Let us see how this is done. There are three steps involved in Samsung Knox enrollment. Firstly, add devices to the Samsung Knox portal. Next, you need to activate the enrolled devices. Finally, you need to assign users to these devices, to complete enrollment. Step 1, Add Devices to the Samsung Knox Portal. On the MDM server, click on the Enrollment tab present in the top menu and select Knox Mobile Enrollment from the left pane. You need to add the devices to the portal, to ensure they get enrolled with MDM. The first step in configuring Knox Enrollment is to create a Knox account. To do that, click on the here link. It redirects you to Samsung Knox Portal. On the Knox Portal, click on Get Started. You can then create a new account by filling the requisite details. Once done, click on Login and provide your credentials. After logging in, click on MDM Profiles from the top menu and click on the Add button. Since we are manually adding the MDM server, select Server URI not required for my MDM and click on Next. You need to provide a mandatory profile name while the description is optional. Click on the Add MDM Application button. Go back to the MDM portal and copy the link provided for APK URL. Paste the copied URL on the Knox portal and click on Save. Copy the JSON contents provided as MDM profile and paste it under the custom created JSON MDM data. profile to the added devices facilitates enrollment on click device on activation. Click on Save to finish the basic setup. Click on the Resellers tab from the top menu and select Register Reseller. Specify the reseller ID provided by your reseller and click on Look Up. Verify if the provided reseller details are correct. You can optionally choose to assign a default profile to all the devices added by the reseller here. Ensure Auto Approve is selected for approval preference and click on OK. Copy the generated Knox customer ID and share it with your reseller. Reseller uses this ID to auto-add devices to Knox Portal. Click on Devices from the top menu. You can see devices have been added by the reseller and has been auto-approved. Now select all devices. You can either assign profiles in bulk through CSV or assign it on a device-to-device -device basis. Select the device and click on Configure. Provide the profile name and click on Save. As you can see, the status has changed to Profile Assigned. Step 2, Activate the Enrolled Devices. Once enrolled, the device needs to be booted up in case of a fresh device or factory reset if the device is in use. Configure the basic device settings requested during device activation. As you the device gets enrolled with MDM through Knox. Additionally, the organization which is to manage the device is shown as well. Follow the on-screen instructions to finish the device activation as well as the enrollment. Go back to the Knox portal and click on Refresh. As you can see, the status is updated to Enrolled. Step 3 Assign users to these devices. On the MDM server, Click on Next and you'll see the list of devices enrolled but yet to be assigned users. You can assign users in bulk or on a device-to-device -device basis. To assign user to a single device, click on the Assign User option present against the device. Provide the requested details and click on Assign to complete user assignment. To view the list of device enrolled via Knox, select the Click Here link. As you can see the device after being assigned a user, has moved to the Common Enrollment tab.